What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views, the podcast where we talk about this girl that Jason's been seeing for the past couple of months, but he won't admit to anybody around him that he's dating her. Her name's Trisha Paytas. <laughs> Boy, you come right out, huh? Yeah. Gloves off. What's your, what's your, what's your deal, dude? Oh, well, I'll be coming after you. I'll answer your question, and then I'll be coming after you later in the show, <laughs> right after the first ad. I'm going to come right after your throat, motherfucker. As soon as Squarespace comes up, <laughs> I'll be getting, you'll be getting yours. <laughs> okay, well, answer my question. Are you, are you seeing this woman? And well, we, went away, so- we went away on a nice vacation together. Yeah. We spent, we, we, we spent some way, quality time together. Cut to the crap, because I mean, listen... Actually, don't cut to the crap. You keep bullshitting me. <laughs> <laughs> cut to the crap. Okay, well. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, skip the crap. <laughs> and cut, cut to the main crap. And roll the intro music. No, come on, tell me. <laughs> Forget it. Roll, roll, roll the intro music. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? Um, so if you listen to these podcasts chronologically, the last time, the, the, right before the podcast ended, we talked about Jason's trip to Hawaii. And um, Jason gave me permission to go to the trip. As the episode was ending, because I wanted to give the listeners something. Something to hang on to. David was, is smart, and he backed me into a corner at the end of the episode, yeah, at the 40-minute so mark. If you didn't hear the last episode at the end, I was like, Jason, or J- Jason, had, Jason had an idea, and he's like, you come to Hawaii, and you shoot me with a paintball gun. And I'm like, can I do that? Do, you, do I have permission to come to Hawaii, shoot you three, three times with a paintball gun without you knowing? I didn't hear three times. I heard one, by no, the way. it was three times. <laughs> okay, I, I'll have to go check the tape. You uh, psycho. And, um, and he gave me permission. So he went on his Hawaii trip, and... And I waited two, three days, and I booked my flight. I, I had to talk to, to a lot of my friends. Everyone said no, but I found everyone said no. Yeah, what did they say? No one wanted it. I asked everybody, and I'm like, "Do you guys want to come to Hawaii? I'm paying for the ticket." Did people say like, "David, that's a bad idea. Don't go do that." No, they were just like, "I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about you know going to Hawaii for so little." Even even Alex said no. I'm like, "Alex, well, what are you doing? You're just you, Alex would love Hawaii. Yeah, Alex, you literally love a, a, anybody. Anyway, I would have gone with you. Well, I know that. <laughs> I that like, doesn't say much. I like the joke that much. <laughs> You've eaten shit off the ground for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but um, but yeah. So Brandon decided to come, and it was uh, Brandon told me we spent more time in the air than we actually spent in Hawaii. Fun fact, because a flight there was six hours. Well, why did you plan it like that? It was great. I I did not want to be there any longer. David, why did you plan it like that? You could have. You could have gone on a tour okay, the so morning and me, shot something for your vlog. Let me set Stupid. it up. It was Sunday. I it, think you have a fear of reality. It was Sunday, and um, our flight left at, um, fuck, what time did we leave? I don't I, even know. Gee, dude, I don't know. You showed up at my place right before our big dinner, <laughs> right before the $5,000 dinner she paid for. Oh, oh, it was the absolute... We left, we left at 7 in the morning. Craziest time. 7 today. in the morning on Sunday. We landed at around... Noon or 11, I don't remember to be specific. Yeah, we landed around 11. Then we rented a car, and then we were off to find Jason to find out what hotel he was staying at, the whole thing, um, the whole nine yards. We were off to find him, and we didn't find him till around 5 o'clock. So we, and then, wait, wait, when did you land? And I think we landed around 11. Okay. And then, um, so you had a whole five hours. You're like, fuck, I can't find this guy. Basically, we went to the hotel, because on his Instagram pictures, it said he was staying at the Four Seasons. So we went to the hotel, we just were like, fuck it. I'm like, I went to the front desk and I'm like, hey, I'm surprising my stepdad. It's, <laughs> it's his anniversary. And, and we're like, can you just tell us what room he's staying in? And they're like, I'm sorry, we can't give out that information. And then from there on out, the staff was all up on our ass. Everywhere we would go, they were like stopping us. They were talking. It was really fucking intense. So we left the hotel because we were scared of running into you like in the lobby. They probably thought you were Trisha fans. Oh yeah, maybe. I don't know what they thought we were. But um but yeah, we left the hotel cuz we didn't run we didn't want to run into you in the lobby. And then Trisha uploaded a Snapchat uh, showing that she's at some beach with some turtles. Yes. So I'm like, "Great. Now we don't know when he's going to be at the hotel or how long he's going to be at the place for." Um and and I had no way of finding you. I didn't, I can just call you and ask. And we were you where that you was were. the day we were all over the island. We went to the waterfalls, and then we got this cab driver who was like, "Yeah, I could take you around for the whole day." And Trisha, money is no object. <laughs> she was like, "Great, y'all, take us around for the whole day." How much was it? She spent. It was a six hundred dollar fare at the end of the day. Fuck, 
fuck you. And he kept he kept coming up with stuff. He'd be like, he's like, if you guys like turtles, I know what best uh, beach where to see turtles. And you guys, the best of fifty turtles. You guys like hot dog buns? It, yeah. You know the best hot dog bun place. You, it, the hot dogs you get somewhere separately, and I'll drive you there too. It, but the hot dog buns here. Anything someone suggested, we would do. So you're lucky we came back at all. Well, but that the, was that, the night of our big dinner. Well, okay, r- okay. Before you left on your trip, right. do you remember I did this? I took your phone. And I turned on your location on messages. You motherfucker. Yeah. Because we were somewhere <laughs> and I, I don't know where I was, but I was with Trisha and I noticed that you had a location on. And I was like, that little shit went into my phone and he turned my location on. Yeah. I told you I needed to borrow it for like something to do with work. I was like, I need to check. How'd you snap. unlock it? You unlocked it for me. You handed it to me. You're like, okay, fine. And I turned your location on. And you I del- should have been a criminal. I don't know why you're a YouTuber. <laughs> and I deleted our messages so you wouldn't see that I turned your locations on. And then somehow you found out. So I'm like, fuck, I don't know where he is when we're on this island. I don't know where to find him anymore because his location is off. So I knew that on Snapchat, you can... And your phone was dead, by the way. Or your phone... My phone was dead. It was dead, right? Okay, yeah. Good guess. Because yeah, so we were out with the turtles. So we saw that your phone was dead. And all my... I had, uh, I had a contact back in LA that was like messaging you saying that she had a surprise for you because uh, she's like a PR lady and um, yeah she, she texted me she's like hey you guys are at the Four Seasons you should have told me next yeah, time we, we got we, a free hotel we represent the Four Seasons they want to send you something upstairs anyway um, so she was texting you and none of the messages were going through and my messages weren't going through so I, I was like the only way to figure out where he is is his Snapchat location because Snapchat has this feature where if you allow it your friends can see where you are when you're on Snapchat. So I, this is completely lucky. My literally and my, illegal and illegal. <laughs> my first fucking guess at his Snapchat username and password was correct. God knows how it was correct. I got into his Snapchat and I turned on the location on his Snapchat and I shared it with me and Brandon. And um, I couldn't show any of this in the vlog, by the way, because it took, it was a long process to find out where he was. And um, I turned on the location and, um, and now I, I was like, well, this, this doesn't help us because Jason's phone is still dead and he needs to log back onto his Snapchat to, to show me where he is. Because r- right now it was only showing the location where I was at because I just turned on the location on, on your phone. Right. Do you know what I mean? Right. Right. So right. I needed you to log back into Snapchat. And I knew your phone was dead, so like you, you weren't going to do that anytime soon. So I posted on his story saying that uh, hacked by XX God. <laughs> And I said that I was going to upload private pictures in 30 minutes. <laughs> and, and I didn't tell anyone I was doing this. So literally, I gave it two minutes, and people were tweeting at Jason and Trisha, <laughs> and our friends were calling me, and they were like, did you see Jason's Snapchat? <laughs> it's hacked. And I'm like, and then, fuck, what private pictures are out there? And I'm like, and I'm like, and I'm like, like Zane called me, and he's like, dude, Jason's hacked. I'm like, oh my God, you should call him, because my calls aren't going through. Maybe they'll go through for you. And uh, Zane called them everybody called them and they're like and they were calling trisha because trisha's phone wasn't dead they were like trisha tells uh jason to check his phone because uh his snapchat's hacked and then you guys finally went to go plug in your phone you logged back onto snapchat and i saw that you were at the hotel because that's where your location came up and that's when i got um that's when i got cassandra uh the pr lady to say hey what's your room number right i'm gonna come send you something up and that's when i showed up at his room with the paintball gun outside and after some some arguing out uh, in front of his door, we got and I got to shoot him with a paintball gun. I only wish that I had. A I hope that story made sense. Yeah, it makes total sense. And it, it, it was complicated, but I got to shoot him with a paintball gun. And after I shot him, they they went out to they, you guys went out to a five thousand three thousand dollar dinner. Yeah, right after right. It was like a bachelor style style dinner on the water. Gorgeous dinner. Course after course, drinks. They they pre-interviewed us for the dinner. Like, what do you like? What do you not you, you like? You guys had to go out and talk to the chef, right? Spoke with the chef. Fucking nuts. It was nuts. It was too much food. You were literally Trisha's like sugar baby. Yeah, and only I'm twice her age. Oh, <laughs> you can you can you can pull Link out. Link, can you please? Our dog's here. She has some new merch she wants to plug. It was really weird because when we walk around the hotel, it was pretty clear that people were looking at me like, oh, there's this rich guy with this young girlfriend. 
when so clearly it was oh, really? the other way. People thought you were like, like the Like they'd one. bring the bill to me and I'd be like, no, 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 over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we didn't, we didn't get to stay long, but... Um, Why didn't you stay? I don't know. Jason, Jason... Jason like we begged you to stay. Jason and, Trisha and Trisha was Trisha, really nice about it. Jason and Trisha really wanted us to stay and Jason was texting him. He's like, if you stay, man, we'll have sex on camera. <laughs> just please come, please come. <laughs> um, but no, we couldn't stay just because it, um, it was time to go back. And we ended up leaving at 10.30 that night, and we got home at 5 a.m. Weren't you exhausted, just wrecked? Aren't you wrecked, like, right now from it? I'm not wrecked now. I mean, I was, I was a little tired. I slept till like, noon, and then I got back. I, slept, I sleep on airplanes really easily. Yeah, you like, knock right out. That's, like, I was actually talking to Brandon. I think I have um, some kind of sleep disorder, like, where I could sleep anywhere. And it's not, like, anything serious that I should get checked, but it su- just sucks because I, I can fall asleep at any time, anywhere, like, that's why I'm always laying down. Like, you'll never see me sitting unless I'm, like, working. But, like, I'm always laying down if I'm hanging out. You I think kn- you're narcoleptic? Oh, is that what it is? Like, you don't just fall asleep, like, driving, do you? Um, no, 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 no. I don't think that's a disorder, then. I think you just can sleep. You're just a good sleeper. You think I'm just tired? I think you're just tired. I think you, I think you work so hard that you've, you, you've accumulated a lot of tiredness. You know what I was going to bring up? Um, I was going to bring up... Um, I was thinking about how much healthier, you know, how, like people are skinnier here in LA or like, that's like the myth sure. that like everybody. And like, I was thinking about like, just like going out to lunch, like here it's like, if we, when you order a water, it's so like normal to order a water. Yeah. I, I know you're looking at me like I'm fucking out of this world. No, not at all. But like at, in the Midwest, like I remember we used to go to Buffalo Wild Wings and like, and I, like I, this is when I was like already getting into like my stopping soda drinking phase because they I was bring already... you a water in the midwest is what you're gonna say no oh no 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 like the first six months um like the first six months i lived in la people were like yeah soda's bad for you don't fucking do that shit yeah. and then i went back to the midwest and i was at buffalo Wild wings and i'm like can i have a water and then and then the waiter goes it's okay i can i can get you a coke don't worry <laughs> because really? the, yeah because it's 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 not normal to get N- not soda, especially Buffalo Wild Wings. It's not normal to get not soda, <laughs> like, David Dobrik. It's weird to get it's weird to get water, and it's so normal here. I don't know, really. I, I don't know if it's normal here or if it's just like a like an age thing. Like like the older you get, the yeah. more like, conscious you are about it. Yeah, I could see but that. But back home, it was soda every time. What about when you go back now? It's it's water. You, you get water. It's water. Your every friends time. get sodas. Um, yeah, my friends get. Soda. Maybe you just look fourteen. What do you mean? You just look really young. No, I'm the one that decides to get a water. No, I know. And the waiter's like, it's okay, dude. I'll slide you a Coke. Overall, I think I'm living a healthier lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I think you're running again. I am, I am an athlete now. Yeah, I've been running. You ran a lot. two days. I've been, <laughs> I don't know if you're an athlete. <laughs> I've run two days. Yeah. Um, I, I got this advice from Liza. This is amazing advice, which you should live by, by the way. Okay. Um, oh, hello. Hello. What do you mean, hello? Okay. I, I don't normally listen to two 21 year olds, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> no, I was telling her that I like running. But I, I always just have to take a nap afterwards. Right. And like I always knock out and I get really tired. And she told me, go for a run in the morning and take, take the nap that you know you're going to take anyway. And I'm like, holy shit. That's fucking genius. So now I'll run. What, what I've been doing the last two days is I run at 7 in the morning. Right. And then I go back to bed for another three, four hours. Great. And then you feel rested? I feel like shit. (laughs) 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 I I feel like trash. Like, I I feel awful, but it's... (laughs) It doesn't sound like good advice. Les is right on the money just with just about everything. I'm not sure it's good advice. No, it's it's, it's better, though, than me, like, pretending to start my day, and then I get here and I knock out. I feel like shit, but I'm not, like, tired shitty. I'm just kind of, like, really groggy for, like, three, four hours. Um, But, yeah, and and I like running. I'm like a really big fan of it. What's your time? My mile? Yeah. Um, I mean, I can, I can run a mile in like 7.35. No fucking way. Yeah. 7.30? You haven't yeah. worked out in three years. I know. I can run a mile quick. I'd like to see it. I, I'll put money on it. I know I can run a mile in 7.30. It's, uh, I, I can't, we do a little, little uh, race for charity. <laughs> we do it right now. Yeah. You just talk for eight minutes straight and I'm running. <laughs> Go do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. We could, we could pause and we could run a mile, see who gets better time. Okay, fine. 14 minute miles. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, but I, I can run a fast mile. I can't run more than a mile, even if I run it slow. Yeah. It, it's because it's I, get, I get bored of it and I just I get so disinterested in it. That's why I, I can never lift weights uh-huh. because I'm just so fucking like. You get bored. Just the idea of it, of the repetition, mm-hmm. fucking, it, it makes me so angry and I have to stop. Well, 
I, you know, I'm, I'm glad you're working out again. It's good. Thanks. Soon I'm going to be in really good shape, Jason. You just watch. And I'm also running, um, running up and down that hill every day. I, I, I believe it. No, it's, I'm sure it's coming. No, I'm totally kidding. It's <laughs> it's not coming because it's they're really short walks. But you know what else isn't? But you know what isn't a short walk, Jason? The black tux. Yeah, to look good. Do you have a wedding special event coming up where I you'll do. be wearing a suit or tuxedo? You have a wedding coming up? Yeah, I got a big one coming up. Oh, you're you're going to one? Uh yeah, I'm going to one. Is it yours? Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I can't tell you about it. It's a famous person. I don't want to drop the names here on the on the podcast. Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> the black tux is the easy way for you know guys. Scotty Sire. Yeah, he's getting married. Jesus Christ. Here the black go. tux is the easy way for guys to rent suits and tuxedos online. The black tux lets you create your look or choose from tons of stylish selected outfits. Suits usually retail for twelve hundred, but at the black tux, they start at just ninety five bucks. Expert customer care has your back every step of the way, and it's completely done online, guys. With the black tux free home try on, you can see the fit and feel the quality of your suit months before your event. After ordering, your suit will arrive 14 days before your event. If anything is less than perfect, the Black Tux will send you a free replacement right away. When your event's over, just drop your rental back in the mail. Shipping is free both ways. To get $20 off your purchase, visit theblacktux.com slash views. That's theblacktux.com slash views. For $20 off your first purchase, the Black Tux. Premium rental suits and tuxedos delivered. Ours are coming. You know, we're getting some Black Tux. I heard. They took our sizes. Yeah, I heard. What's with your waist? What? What's your waist? 32. You're a 32? Yeah. I thought you'd be like a 14. I'm like a 32, 34. I have a big butt. You do? Yeah. You want me to sit on your face? <laughs> <laughs> no, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> um, God damn, that made me uncomfortable. <laughs> that was all you. <laughs> um, it's funny. There used to be this, uh, there used to, the tux, tuxedo place in my hometown yeah. had this competition for the most amount of referrals a person can get. Like, if you got two referrals, you got $200 off your tux rental for, for a prom, which was a lot. Wow. And if you got, like, 10 referrals, they gave you a $10,000 gift card. Not a 10000 sorry, like a $1,000 gift card to the tux place. Wow. But if you got 100 referrals, get yeah. this. You won't believe the shit because I didn't, I didn't believe it. Um, they pay for your college tuition. What? Yeah. 100 referrals? 100 referrals. How many did you get? I didn't. I, I, I only got one. Yeah. Because who? I didn't try it. But like, imagine if I did it with my YouTube channel now. That'd be a brand deal. Like, yeah, you could go to college. I can go to college. <laughs> yeah. Which wouldn't really make sense. But, but yeah, it's I, I like the idea. You're, you're so crafty like that. You love little deals like that. Do I? Even with all your money now, you still, you still like, like little things. What do you mean? You're just funny like that. You're frugal. Oh, yeah. I'm You'll so, be like, uh, if, if there's a deal at like the food court... You'll be like all excited oh, about Buff- it. And I'm Buffalo. like, David, we could go to Mastro's. Yeah, the only time I go to Buffalo Wild Wings is on Wings Day. Yeah, you I'm, love that. I'm not paying for overpriced wings. Yeah, well, we, we've... we've bought, this, um, I'm done with Buffalo Wild Wings. I don't pay a lot of money for shit, but I bought, um, I bought the, a flamethrower yesterday. Elon Musk. Yeah, I heard. I was going to buy you one. Creator, were you really? It's, you're very hard to surprise. Yeah, because I, I... yeah. Like, you already fucking heard about it. I know what I want, like, all the time. So, like, I'll... Yeah, plus you, you're up Elon Musk's ass all the time. Yeah, Elon Musk, creator of Tesla, Elon Musk. Ca- came out with a flamethrower. He only made nine, 19,000, mm-hmm. and he sold 17,000 of them so far, which I did the math. 17 times uh, 500 is... Uh, 8 million? It's, like, over $8 million. What just, are you going to do with your flamethrower? Just in flamethrower. What? What are you going to do with it? It's a surprise for when you're sleeping. <laughs> All it does is just shoot like a little bit of spark. I mean, it's basically like a lighter. Yes, but you got to light something big. So you got to pour gasoline on something and then use your flamethrower and then madness ensues. Yeah, I don't think they say that on the website. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're taking some liberties with Elon Musk's invention. No, no, no. It, it, it'll be a good time. Uh, Josh and I were at the Grove yesterday. Yeah, how was that? It was fun. Um, Josh knows a lot of people. Like, yeah, I bet he does. Like Josh, like not, not knows like, a lot of people, or is recognized by a lot of people. No, knows a lot of people. He knows a lot of people. Like, yeah, he's been in LA a long time. I'm yeah, sure like he does. He'll just hug random people, like good to see you, like the typical like <laughs> yeah. fucking LA shit. And um, I had this one guy came up to him. This was fucking hilarious. I didn't put it in my vlog because it was it took too long to explain. But um, guy came up to him and he's like Josh, and he's like dude, and Josh is like dude, what's up, Cancun, huh? How is that? Mm-hmm. How about that? Mm-hmm. And the guy's like what? <laughs> What, what, do you, what do you mean Cancun? And Josh is like, Cancun, Cancun. And the guy's like, I, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not following. 
And I'm like, holy fuck, Josh thinks this is a different guy. <laughs> and then Josh goes, ah, I'm just messing with you. I like to bring up random places around people. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, holy shit. So fucking awkward. And, the, and then the guy left and I'm like, Josh, that was so awkward. And he's like, I fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be hard to be him. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, he, he'll just work somewhere and there's like 400 people oh, in the crew. Oh, 100%. And he's like, he's the person everyone's looking at. That is bold. Really it's, hard. It's bold bold for him to go Cancun like it's bold like what I do is I always say I never say nice to meet you anymore I always say nice to see you oh yeah good to see nice to see you good to yeah, see you good yeah. to see you because if you say nice to meet you go we've met before yeah yeah people do and that. um yeah Josh Josh was just very if I was Josh I would never ever because he meets so many fucking people and he's been doing this since he was literally what 11 that's why people shit on celebrities all the time it's because they because they, they forget people because they've, they've they've had too many times where they've talked about Cancun that's so not fair imagine it's like, not ma- fair imagine Brad Pitt he works on like what 10 movies every 7 years yeah and he has to memorize and on each movie set there's like 150 people maybe yeah and he's yeah. different he's like in the uber uber echelon I bet he doesn't have to fucking remember anyone's name I just I think it's just pointless I don't even think he can talk to anyone <laughs> I, I remember we had that conversation about Will Smith, and you, we were talking about how he was had, this on the podcast. Yeah, and you were talking about how the maid had to sign this thing where she couldn't look at him. Yeah, we were arguing about that. I think there's certain people in that level of fame where it's like, yeah, you're just not, yeah, like, you're like not we a were talking about anymore. how like Ellen, um, like n- no one can talk to Ellen at work. Yeah, yeah, no one can take pictures with her, which we, th- which I thought was like fucked up, but then I gave it some thought, and I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because everybody wants a, f- a little piece of you, and then Nuts. your entire day is gone. I mean, look at me; you're always asking me for stuff, and I have to say no. Yeah, sometimes. Seriously, we should yeah. we should come up with rules for me talking to you because I I want so much from you. Should we get Wyatt and Charlie in here? No. <laughs> hey, do you have any, guys, real quick, if you have any idea for, yeah, ideas I was just gonna for say, science projects. Jason's son has a science fair project. I didn't know they still do this shit. <laughs> David just goes, that sounds fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't know they still do science fairs. It's literally like you're my, you're, I married someone and I got this fucking crazy stepson. And why, why and Charlie are so sweet. They're the sweetest kids in the world. And yeah, you're, they're a little spoiled. But but and then now I have this crazy fucking stepson who's like, who's like ready to blow the house up. <laughs> they have no idea what to make dude, of you. I did not know science fair projects are a thing. Yeah, like, he's got to come up with something, David. Well, dude, I totally. Why think don't the, you go give a speech? At I the school. think science fair projects are sick if they're voluntary and the people that like are smart people can come up with shit. But assigning it to every student in the class, it's a fair. Oh, he's got to present it in front of the whole school. It's messed up. That is so rude. Guys, you know, it, there are only a select few that can actually make cool science fair projects. He's, he's pretty good at science. I know, but putting him on the spot like that. Guys, if you have and any... And I told I, him, I told him, I'm like, why don't you... Sorry, sorry. But I'm like, why don't you just make a volcano? Because I've, I've seen <laughs> Jimmy Neutron, and they make like volcanoes. You said, why don't you buy a volcano? Oh, I said, why don't you buy a volcano and just and show the teacher? And he's like, the teacher says she's seen too many volcanoes, <laughs> so we're not allowed to make volcanoes. As if... As if fucking volcanoes are easy to make. As if she's just like, no more gingerbread houses this year. It's a volcano. So you can't make something fucking erupt. But if, if you're a teacher and you've been doing it for years, you've seen... Bullshit, dude. I would, I would pull your son out of school. He doesn't deserve that. He's, that is, that is hard work. What's he going to do? Come work for you? Yeah. He can be... Um, yeah, right. Yeah, he can be eternally taped to my wall. <laughs> Guys, if you have any ideas about science fair projects, about sound, and also the other pre- prerequisite was, it has to change the world <laughs> oh yeah that's what it was that's what it was it was like it can't be a volcano because it has to help humanity yeah and he, it's he, gotta help. he literally has to find the cure to aids and it has to have, have something to do with sound which, no it doesn't have anything to do with sound yeah it is no it does no go, go get him in here no why not because we're going to talk about science fair it'll projects and sour patch kids it, it'll be fun <laughs> no i believe you uh, all right fine it's just it's just gonna frustrate me well, I think it's an interesting topic. Ah, uh, fine. Wyatt! <laughs> <laughs> Wyatt! Okay, we're bringing Jason's son in here, who is... Wyatt. How old is he? Seven? 12. He's 12. <laughs> Wyatt, you got to come in quick, because we're live. Because we're very confused that you have to do this. Grab this mic, inter- introduce yourself. This is the kid that eats a bunch of Sour Patch Kids. He's a maniac. Okay, <laughs> say hi. Hi. He's not seven. Uh, happy seventh birthday, by the way, Wyatt. Um, Wyatt, go ahead and tell me that the science fair project, everybody in your school has to do it? 
Yes. Okay. And are you are you friends with kids that know how to d- make a good science fair project? I don't even know. Like, what does this entail? Explain it to me. Like mm-hmm. last year, what was like the biggest science fair experiment? Well, this is a new school, so we didn't do this last year. Oh, and she didn't. Get, the teacher didn't give you examples of what other students did. She, she did. Like well, one student made this whole thing. Um, you know how dogs have like hip replacements, and they have that. Cart? Jesus Christ. <laughs> So he fused the neurons and the protons together <laughs> and created a new leg. Okay, what did the, what did this kid do? They um they like we made a whole new way on um, a whole new hip replacement and how to do it like with a swing instead. Jesus Christ! So what are you gonna do? I don't know. How, how Yours about, has to do with sound. No, I don't know what uh, I'm gonna do. Oh, oh. I told you it doesn't. You, okay, it you doesn't have to do. You with don't sound. listen to your own kid. All right, he told you a hundred times, Daddy. It doesn't have to do with sound. Is that what you said? What? I, I said I could do something with sound. Yeah. You're just saying that because you're a musician and you want to do something with sound. Okay, all right. So it doesn't have to be sound. Have you ever, have you ever built a mousetrap no. car? Why don't we just build a mousetrap car? What's a mousetrap car? You've never done a mousetrap car? No. It's Actually, maybe, maybe it's not an L.A. thing. Maybe it's just a Midwest thing so we can get away with it here. You put CD-ROMs as wheels and the mousetrap triggers the car to go forward using a rubber band. Oh, that, that could change the world. What? It's to help society. Yeah, the it'll it, it'll help society. We'll put crackers on the mousetrap and we'll deliver it to <laughs> st- starving kids. Guys, if you have any ideas as to what why I could do for the science fair, so I don't have to worry about it, please tweet them to me why, at Jason Nash. You do realize that this is like this is like you don't, don't take this too seriously. Like it's crazy. What grade are you in? Sixth, sixth grade. Sixth. You know what we were doing in sixth grade? What? We were taking sharpies and drawing up penises on the lockers. That's what we were doing. That's how we help society. Now go out there and smoke some weed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wyatt. Thanks a lot. That's Wyatt Nash. I'm kidding. Don't smoke weed. Bye, dude. It's crazy. Wyatt, good luck. I'm, I'm, really, I'm genuinely proud of you that you're in a school where they expect you to do shit like this because it's, it's amazing. Send your sister in. No, we don't need her. We're good. No more family. Dude, my God. No, but uh, genuinely, I'm sorry I sound so like um, just fucking astounded by this you're good you're good to have around david you, you bring reality Dude, to it's them. just you bring the reality to them, which i know the project? world is going to be harsh <laughs> come on that's so much to ask from a sixth grader. Dude, he has so much homework you don't even know i believe you people call me they'll be like do you want to um uh, people will ask me like can can they help with a video and i'm like no they can't they're dude why they're don't we busy. do this why don't we do this why don't we go I mean, I'm sure we have connections because we're out in L.A. Yeah. Why don't we go to real scientists and we have him develop some fucking something incredible <laughs> and just have Wyatt like blow everybody away? Oh, <laughs> well, that would be cheating. But yeah, like okay. something crazy. Yeah, that would be fucking awesome. Like an invisible car. <laughs> and the teacher's like, where's your project, Wyatt? <laughs> and he's like, it's actually parked right here, man. <laughs> right in front of your face, bitch. <laughs> no, that's that's incredible. I am. I'm sorry I sound so angry about this project, but I'm just fucking mind blown. Oh, David, what's this? Squarespace. Oh, my God. Holy shit. You well, got Squarespace back? Welcome back, uh, g- guys. Yeah. Squarespace is amazing, by the way. It really is. You and, can build your own website with it, and it's, it's and pretty you, awesome. If you head to squarespace.com for a free trial, when you're ready to launch, you can use the offer code VIEWS to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Yeah. You can create a beautiful website to turn your cool idea into a new website, showcase your work, blog or publish content, sell products and services of all kinds, promote physical or online businesses, announce an upcoming event or special project. I just want to stop you there and say you're doing a good job reading this. Thanks. Yeah. Squarespace does this by giving you beautiful templates created by world class designers, powerful e commerce functionality, and lets you sell anything online. <laughs> <coughs> Take it away, Nash. Yeah, the ability to customize look, feel, settings, products, and more with just a few clicks. Everything optimized for mobile. Everything optimized for mobile right out of the box. A new way to buy domains and choose from over 200 extensions. Analytics that help you grow in real time. Built-in search engine optimization. Free and secure hosting. Nothing to patch or upgrade ever. And 24/7 award-winning customer support. We're encouraging folks to make it. Make it yourself. Easy to create a website by yourself and make it stand out. Stand out with a beautiful website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Destiny is calling, and if you need a website, make it with Squarespace. Mm -hmm. Rock on, guys. That's Views. Views is the promo code for Squarespace, and it'll get you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace, for coming on. Yeah. We love it. We love love the support. Build Build a website that's for you. Build a Views website.
Yeah. Maybe they want to do that. Maybe, maybe build a we- maybe build a website for us. Maybe don't build a website for you. Build it for us. Build something that will help my son get an A, so I don't have to deal with it. What's the toughest thing you had to do in school? Do you know what it's like to come home and have to do his homework? It's awful. It's bullshit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, they asked me. I, I don't know. Are I they, wasn't there today. When I, don't I was in no. When I was in school, they were um, they were trying to because w- w- when did school start for him? They start in August here in LA. They start really early. I'm saying what time? Oh, they have to be there at 8 a.m. Oh, okay. So that's early. So our class would start at 7:20, mm-hmm. right? And oh, that's early. And they were trying to push it back to have every class by law start at 10 a.m. Yeah. Well, they say kids learn better at that hour. Yeah. At I, 10 o'clock. And what I, happened? Um, nothing happened. We still showed up at seven in the morning. But I'm surprised as to like why that's not a thing yet. Like why is why are kids still going to school so early? Uh, I think so they can get paid. I think it has something to do with money, I'm sure. So, so the teachers can get paid? Yeah. What do you mean? I don't know. Just in terms of like, um, I guess, I guess my, I don't know. Just extending the hours? Yeah. Because then you, you don't overlap with like after school activity. I don't know. I'm not sure. In fact, it doesn't make any sense because they would do, spend less on electricity. Do teachers out here make a lot of money? No. No. See, like back at my school, I know there's like a common thing. Talking about teachers don't make a lot of money, but being a teacher at my hometown is like a really good, really good job. Make a hundred k? Yeah. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't know if they make that here. And coaches, if you're if you coach something, it's mm-hmm. the teachers that slacked off the most that made the most money because they would they would teach shit like autos. You know, uh, autos uh, classes like it was always bullshit. At least sure. in my school, we'd watch autos like cars. Yeah. We had autos class, and we watched Fast and Furious. <laughs> and every every uh, every day we would come in. Not every day, but every other day we'd come in, and there'd be a um, he'd take a poll with us, and, it, and it'd be, "Do you guys want to go to the shop or watch a movie?" <laughs> and we'd always choose movie. And we ran out of the Fast and Furious movies because we saw them all, and there was like five of them. We started seeing other movies. And then we doubled back and we watched the Fast and Furious movies in different languages. No. (laughs) Yeah. Because that's all we would watch is Fast and Furious. What what, what would happen when you'd go to the shop? Um, Nothing. Did you ever make anything? Yeah. We'd like unscrew things. And there's always like, there's always, there was 10 kids in the class that really wanted to do stuff with cars. Sure. And the other 15, 20 of us didn't care at all. We just knew it was a slack off class. And we would just pair up with the kids that knew it was a slack off class. <laughs> and they would do all the work. And they were fine with it because they loved it. And we were fine with not doing the work because we knew that we were never going to work on cars in our lives. And the teacher was great. He was, I mean, uh, during the final, you'd come up to him and you'd be like, and you'd be like, what's the answer to this? And he'd be like, I don't know. That's a stupid question. You're, you're never going to need to know that. Just skip that one. <laughs> and then he'd be like, Guys, for number 42, just, just, just put whatever you want. I'm not going to count that one. <laughs> and then... Uh, just f- yeah, you know, fuck number 42, guys. Don't worry about it. And, um, and I In think... In fact, 43, 44, all the next page. Just fuck it. And I think for one of the, uh, one of the, uh, one of the kids <laughs> in my class, this is real, needed to get his grade rounded up. He had like an 84. Yeah. And he wanted a 90 for an A. And our teacher told him... That if he writes, uh, if he like handwrites the summary for for the Fast and Furious movies we watched in class, he'll round his grade up six percent. So he did, and he ended up getting an A in the class. The entire script? No, the summary of <laughs> oh, all the, the movies, like what happened in each of the movies. It was the <laughs> fucking easiest class, and that's the teacher that got paid a lot because he was not only teaching autos, but he was a football coach. He was, um, you know, he was a gym teacher. Sure. He had doing it different all. Jack things. Of all trades. Yeah, he was doing all of these, like, little bullshit. Like, he would teach health, which was another bullshit class right. where, you know, you just hand out the same material every Doesn't time. Doesn't sound like the guy you want talking about your body. <laughs> no, really, but it was but great. Okay. And he was the guy that was the highest paid teacher in our school, making, like, 175 a year, which is nuts for a teacher. 175 How grand. do you know he made 175? Because you, you can go online. And you can look at it? Yeah. It's, hey, it's a little snoop. It's, uh, no, it was, it's, it's common knowledge. Every e- Teachers would share. It, share their income with us too because it was public knowledge. So uh-huh. they weren't like scared of telling us how much they make because they, they knew we could just look would, it up. He would walk in and be like, I made 175K last year, guys. I don't know what you assholes made. <laughs> no, no. No one was like cocky about how much money they made. That's what was so amazing. It was such a, it's such a small hometown and you can get away with like, you can make a lot of money in it, but you can live so like frugally and you can live so cheap. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a good, it's a good town. It was a really good trade off. But yeah. <sighs> That was that's the one reason I liked high school, but I don't I can't think of what was the toughest thing in high school for me. 
toughest thing from high school with me was just fucking having friends. I just hated my town. They were the worst. Yeah, it's fucking, that's crazy. You loved it. It's everybody. No, it's, dude, everybody in my town fucking hated our town. Oh, hated, yeah? Yeah, dude, the second we graduated, everyone was like, yeah. thank God I'm not fucking seeing anybody from here. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, well, when I go back now, and I, have, I always have a good time with you, everything everyone says is like, fucking hate it here. Yeah. Gotta get out of, why are you here? Yeah. I'm like, oh, David, David took us back. It's kind of fun. Dude, I know you it's like nuts. It? Everyone, everyone from my hometown hates it there. I don't know what it is. Well, I think it's because we're so in, I think it's because our suburb is so in touch with the rest of the world. Like, I mean, like LA and like with New York and like with like pop culture that we hate our hometown so much. Do you know what I mean? Like we're so in touch with like, and like with what's happening outside of it. Uh-huh. And we're like, get me the fuck out of here. I don't know if that makes sense. I guess sense. that's every town. I just think it's a boring town and people are bored there. I mean, I'm sure if you live there, you'd fucking hate it by now too. Why'd you leave? Because it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, every, every town has its boring things to it, and I, I guess I understand that. Quick little heads up for people that live in Minneapolis. Jason and I are going to be there. We're going there for the big game. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's the, what, who's, I was in, even in the final. I don't even know. I think it's the Cardinals and the, that's, that's baseball. the Chimchuris. That's baseball. Oh, my we're, bad. We're going to a football game. Um, but yeah, we're going to be in Minneapolis. Which is, it has the Mall of America. Fun yeah. fact about all sporting events, if you're going to like a big like function of a sporting event, it's always better on television. Always. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. But, you know, it's nice to, it'll be fun. It's a we'll good experience. Together. It's a good experience, but it's always, like you'll always see it better and you'll always just understand it better. It was true for the fight. We went to the fight. I was like, as grateful as I was that you got those tickets. We went tickets. to the Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor fight. Much better in person. It was, it, I went to WWE once. No, Mayweather wasn't better in person. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not better in person. Better on TV. I went to WWE, which is wrestling, like fake, yeah. like fake wrestling. And um, so much better on TV. So much better on TV. For, yeah. for boxing, too, they explained stuff. We had no idea what was going on. Yeah, we had no idea who anything. was winning yeah. without the commentator. And um, the Olympics. I went to the opening ceremony of the Olympics. Oh, yeah. And you think that'd be amazing in person. It's, it's really humbling to be there. It's the best. And I would, I would go every year. But to watch it, do you know what I mean? To like view it, it's the best to see Especially it on the Olympics, television. They just jump from event to event and they take you to like a million Well, we were at the opening hour. ceremony when they like had the fireworks and they had like all the dancers there. Right. So, so you would think that it'd be nice to see in person, but it's, it's better with all the camera angles because there's, I don't know, they, they, don't make the, they don't make those shows for you to see in person. It's all for, it's all for television. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's why they're always better. I don't know. Fun fact, if you guys are planning to go to the Olympics. Um, no, but definitely go to the Olympics. It was literally the best time of my life. <laughs> I, I know I'm fucking like running in a circle here, but it was the best time of my life. But it is better to watch on TV. But I would never watch it over, over watching it in person. Are we going to go TV. to the Mall of America? Yeah, we're going to be. Have you the, been to the Mall of America? No, I heard it's pretty big. I heard it's the biggest mall. Yeah. I can't imagine. We got to go. Yeah, we're going to go. Okay, we'll go there. It's going to be cold there. Yeah, I heard it's going to be 15 degrees. I just got some brand new gloves that Jason surprised me with. Jason surprises are the best, man. You never know. It could be a, a box of Kleenex, a pair of gloves. Uh, Under Armour pair. surprised you. I asked Under Armour to send you yeah. some, some gloves. Yeah, and they, they hooked so, it up fast. Really some should amazing, think, you really should thank them. amazing gloves. Guys, we have to go because um, we, have, we have a lot to do before we leave for our flight from Minneapolis. Fun fact. We, um, we leave tomorrow night, Thursday night, which is probably today for you guys. We leave Thursday night. Midnight. Midnight. We get on a flight at midnight, yeah. and then we land at about 6 a.m., mm-hmm. and then we have work at 11. Yeah, we're doing a little uh, meet and thing. We're doing like a meet and greet at an arcade. Uh-huh. So if you go to my... T- which may be a secret. I don't know. It's not a secret. You can go to my Twitter and see it. So they won't. They I ruined it. <laughs> um, just go to my Twitter if you're interested in doing who, who what we're doing on Friday. Just, just be there. It'll be fun. Um, <laughs> no, but yeah, we're we're gonna land and then we go straight to work and I have a vlog to post that day. Yeah. Why? Are, again, we. Do, it's gonna be a hectic. Shouldn't fly at midnight. We're gonna be so tired. I don't want to hear it. And Jason, Jason promised me that I can I can shoot him with a paintball gun if I find him in Minneapolis. I don't remember saying that. No. Last night you were trying to convince me to let you shoot me while I was asleep. Yeah, yeah. I was I was waiting for you to come back from Hawaii, and I wanted to be under your bed. I love when there's um, outsiders around because they'll go. So, someone will go. Well, why why doesn't anyone shoot you, David? Someone will say that, and then everyone will laugh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, a new person. 
<laughs> hey, I have new merch co- uh, dropping tomorrow, too. Tomorrow morning. So plug that for me, David, would you? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an asshole. You know where to find it. Probably just laying around our house. <laughs> All the unsold. No, but go check out uh, Jason's merch. Yeah. It's on fandra.co backslash Nash. Um, yeah, go follow us on Twitter. Give us some feedback. We love to hear from you guys. Thank you to our sponsors, Squarespace, and our favorite tuxedo place. The Black Tux. The Black Tux. I'm excited for my tux. I, I, I am, I'm very nervous. I've never worn a tux. We'll I, need somewhere to go. Jason's going to... Jason, uh, Black Tux, if you're listening, please send Jason three, because he's going to get spaghetti all over it the first day. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you guys later. This has been a Views Podcast. My name is Jeff, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. This is the end of the end. Uh, we have to read this to you guys uh, by law. Views is made possible by you. Who are you? We know that somewhere in the world, somewhere download, someone downloaded this podcast, but we don't know anything about you. The folks who support the show would love to know just a little bit about who is listening. Just a little bit. If you have two minutes, it really does only take two minutes. Two minutes. Help us make the show an even better experience for you by telling us more about yourself. Just go to listenerq, that's L-I-S-T-E-N-E-R-Q dot com forward slash views and take the short survey. You can also give us direct feedback on the show, which we would love to hear. And as a thank you, you'll be entered into a drawing for a $100 Amazon gift certificate. No way. Bullshit. Two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes. No, I think it's true, Dave. Two minutes. Don't call bullshit on your own thing. Listenerq.com slash views. That's listenerq.com slash views. Um, guys, this was sent to us by the people we work with on the podcast. I want you guys to do this because I want to see. Please tweet me if you want if you win this 100 Amazon gift. Every time someone says a $100 Amazon gift certificate for anything, I never believe it. I, I don't know why, but I never believe it. So please do the survey just to see if you I wasn't win. I'm going to send it out. No, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were just going to pocket it ourselves. All right. Well, that's it. That's that's actually it for the podcast. We'll see you guys later. Bye.